So I just played this game called Burn Band. Um, it's a, a weird indie game that I found, God knows how, um, free. I'll link to it in the description. And um, while well, you're seeing it on the screen right now, uh, <coughs> basically it's the most aesthetically pleasing thing I've ever seen. It reminds me a bit of Diary of a Spaceport Janitor. I mean, I've seen a few games that are doing this aesthetic now. Um, it's, it seems like relatively, like, pe people understand this aesthetic is good. It's like the natural progression of the pixel 2D aesthetic that every indie game had for a while. Now it's just pixel 3D aesthetic. But, uh, I just, I really like it, and I think it goes extremely well with Cyberpunk, and this game is pretty sci-fi, cyberpunk kind of looking. It, it just, it just matches extremely well with it for some reason. The, the like, 2D sprites, where, where everything is direction-based 2D sprites, all, all the characters and stuff, looks, it just looks so good, and the characters are so wacky. The best thing about this game is, um, well, firstly, I'm not even sure if I should, if it, I should call it a game, because it's... I mean, I, 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 I'm not one of those people that fusses over the, like, definition of games. Like, oh, this isn't even a game, all you do is walk around. But, uh, like, not like that, but I mean, it is, there is, there is literally nothing to the game besides just walking around. There is no, you don't even interact with, with people or objects. I think you can, like, you, you, like the most you can do is press a button on something and then it makes a, a noise. As far I don't even know if that was like actually me doing it or if it just happened to make the noise at the same time as I pressed the button. I, I, I so maybe not even that. It's mostly just here's a world, here's a 3D environment for you to wander around and go do it. And um, I really like that sort of thing. A lot of people really don't like that sort of thing, but I really like that sort of thing. Um, uh, there's this game, I think it's called Polybius, that is like the the oh, the OG version of this basically, where you just wander around and it's pixel 3D graphics. I think it's called Polybius or something like that. Um, which uh, I haven't played yet, but uh, I hear it's good. Uh, but this is this is m closer to Diary of a Spaceport Janitor, or it kind of reminded me of You May Nikki in a way as well, like. But but not as not as not as definitely not as in depth as you may Nikki. But how how um you wander around and you sort of different doors take you to different places and you start to memorize which doors take you to which places and which doors take you to places you've already been. How to get to certain places you sort of start to memorize this map, and uh, the world just feels really alive. Uh, there's there's bars and clubs. The club is probably possible like one of my favorite parts. At one time, I wandered into what looked like an abandoned car park underground, and uh, thought it was completely empty and just a dead end until I spotted out the corner of my eye a red pixel, which turned out to be a a red doorway. And in the doorway was like three people, three aliens playing loud trap music and looking at pictures of sports cars. Except it was literally just one of them was just staring. One of them was just constantly pissing. <laughs> one of them was just urinating green piss. One of them was looking at a slideshow of different sports cars, except one of them was a smart car, like a pink smart car. It would go from like a, a Maserati, a Porsche, a Bugatti, and then just like a pink smart car, which is hilarious. Uh, it was that was that was a great moment. Uh, and then in the club, there's some people that are just, there's this one guy that's just dancing like crazy, head banging, like in, insane. Uh, there's a there's a bathroom that you can only access by falling through a hole in the ground underneath an orb. Uh, there's a a bit where you walk across like a super highway full of flying cars and they all zoom past you and make like whooshing noises with really really deep bass. There's a jazz club at one point, like a jazz bar. Um, there's a school. There's a growing room where people are growing plants. It's just super cool. There's a like a it's really felt like I was just wandering around this world, this like surrealist kind of neo dada <laughs> world. This game's a sequel or like a sister game to another game called Hern Hand, I think, which has a very different aesthetic but as far as I can tell quite similar gameplay. Um I don't know how to describe it but I haven't played that one either. But this game's free, uh so I'll link it in the description and would highly recommend it playing it. I I only I completed it 
there is no like, from what I could tell, there's no like win state where it's like you've won the game. But uh, I explored from what I could tell the entire map in about 40 minutes or, or less, like like 30 minutes. So um, definitely worth your time. There's some great moments where you you wander through a door and you're just in this new environment that's super cool. Um, would highly recommend it. Uh, there you go.